Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the structure of leaf. Leaf is a green exogenous laterally flattened structure or outgrowth which is born on the node of stem or its branch. It is specialized for photosynthesis. There is a term that is foliage. Foliage refers to all the green leaves of a plant now the structure of leaf the structure of leaf is divided into three major parts first one is leaf blade or lamina second one is petiole and third one is leaf base This is the third one. So first of all, we'll discuss the first part that is leaf blade. Leaf blade is also known as lamina or epipodium. Now important points about epipodium, it is terminal, thin, expanded, green, also conspicuous. It is specialized to perform photosynthesis. Lamina is supported by veins and veinlets. We can observe the veins coming here like this and the finer branches will be termed as veinlets. These veins and veinlets contain vascular tissues. For transport of water, minerals and organic food. It is having, the leaf blade is having two surfaces.
first one is a dexial surface and another one is a baxial surface a dexial surface is ventral or upper surface while the abaxial surface is dorsal or lower surface it's important to note that if both surface are distinct that is different from each other it is termed as dorsi ventral leaf and e this structures and if these surfaces are almost similar or quite similar then leaf is termed as isobilateral leaf dorsi ventral leaves are found in dicots while the isobilateral leaf are found in monocots so this is the first part of leaf that is leaf blade or lamina or epipodium now the second part will be the petiole petiole is also known as mesopodium petiole is smooth or grooved stalk of leaf which lifts the lamina of leaf above the level of stem so that it may be exposed to sunlight if petiole is present then the leaf is termed as petiolate leaf and if it is absent then leaf is known as sessile leaf so this is the petiole or mesopodium